Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. I'm reading from uh, a book by Hayes, Hayes, I think it is, The Joyful Easter Tide, a critical review of the empty tune. It's a book written by a Christian critiquing uh, Christi, uh, atheist uh, critiques of the resurrection. And in his book, um, he, he writes, the mythic hero archetype is not a concrete particular, but a higher level literary context and abstract synthesis loosely based on the work of such diverse um, comparative mythologists, A.C. Campbell, Kaiser, Iliad, Faser, uh, Jaspers, Jung, Strauss, Ricoeur. Each comparative mythologist has his or own selection criteria and harmonic principles, harmonistic principles. Each comparative mythologist has his own judging philosophy. Each comparative mythologist has his own idiosyncratic, idiosyncratic synthesis. Page 19. So, the point here is uh, when these skeptics say, uh, well, Jesus was one of the mythic heroes you know, dying and rising gods, you know, you look at the various scholars that have had these uh, ideas of mythic hero archetypes going back in history, each each scholar has their own methodology, their own criteria, so in other words, uh, it's, it's, it's not as simple as the sceptics make out to be, history is complex and history is culturally specific and to have a specific theory that you have of say a, a mythic hero archetype and then you try to impose it back onto a wide spectrum of different cultures in the past it's very foolish and very unwise it's much more complex than the 80s realized